The moment we've all been waiting for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. After nearly a year of waiting and working to shape the land surrounding our enchanting water mill, in this episode, our incredible team of Ukrainian roofers is back as the transformation and renovation works inside of the mill finally begin. What they did in a day is just nearly blew my socks off. Look at how big this is. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married and after eight years of van life, found our dream property and moved across the globe to Portugal, where we're now documenting the journey of transforming this historic water mill into our very first home, not on wheels. Now, let's take in a deep breath and let it out. Let the adventure begin. We've been waiting for this for a long time. The guys who built our roof, our builder is here and they're ready to take action and get started on the inside of our house. It's a great sign, a great feeling at that. So boom, let's see. So boom. Inicio, oh, yeah, see. Bon dia. Bon dia. We didn't expect the guys to show up quite this quick, but we're glad they're here. The sun's shining, so here we are, kicking wow. butt, taking names, and getting jobs done. And the first step that they're gonna start doing today is removing all of the things that you see in here, or at least for the most part, most of the things that you see in here. This stuff will most likely stay because I think these are the tubes that they will use for like the electricity and the plumbing or something like this. But, you know, all that stuff, the stuff up there on the theater, all of the wood, that's got to go. We'll also be building the stairs, removing these stairs. And building the walls that will separate our bedrooms in the upper area. So this is like all happening very fast. We didn't really expect them to show up this morning, but we're happy. Whenever they come and they're ready to work, we're always like, all right, let's do it. And there's a lot up here. Our pitidor, our mulcher the giant bag of river clay that the sellers placed in here before the walls and the roof were built. I'm not sure how that's getting out, but we'll see. Un buen día. See? <laughs> little by little. Got all their supplies out. Luckily, Andy and Terry aren't coming today, so there will be no interference in this area because it looks like they're using the windows to take the wood out of our bedroom. So smart. Wow. This is a multi-dynamic job site. <laughs> Look at that day. So gorgeous. I'm getting warm. We got a couple boxes we're taking out to put in our container though. The rest will go outside. We'll keep it covered under tarps. Vlad told us that basically they're gonna get to work. The electricians are gonna come. He's gonna do all the plumbing. I love it. They're here to work. We're gonna get the job done. Guys, I think that means we might be inside by summer. Dreams. amazing to see how big it is without everything in here. It's gonna feel definitely different when there's a wall separating this bedroom and and the one back there, which will be our bedroom. Here. Yep. This will be really great for part of the building process because now we'll actually be able to like think, okay, there'll be an outlet there. There's gonna be like a murky bed hanging down there. We wanna have closets in this section. Amazing. How nice is it to have the team back? Couldn't do it without these guys. They were all smiles when they showed up again. There's a couple new guys for the crew. 
definitely glad to have them back. Couldn't think of a better team to help us. Quick question. Did we determine how we want these walls set and how thick we want the bookshelf? Right, because we want the door that's going to be for this bedroom. We want it to be a sliding bookcase. <laughs> So wherever the wall is built here needs to be set back a bit because we want that bookcase to be flush with the wall that's built on the left side. This is similar to what we were saying except the bookcase would sit back and be flush with the wall so that it would not stick out like this. It's hard to find that example because few people can like make their walls like one more forward, one more back, you know? But because we're building ours currently, we have a bit more options. There's this amazing option. But would it block our bedroom? You know, the other wall that's going to be here? Yeah, it's too tight for the hallway it. space. Okay. I thought that was cool, though. Oh, there are so many decisions happening right now. This is going to be the year of decision making. We did predict that. My first video of the year, if you guys remember. But yeah. where are we putting the door? We feel like we're not so alone in all of this when we have you to share the questions with. Too bad we film these episodes about two to three weeks ahead of real time. But, but that's all the fun <laughs> in building your own place, too. Yeah. Somebody's waiting. And the mulcher is coming out of the window. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. Who knew that's going to go? They made that so much easier. We should have thought of using the windows when we moved everything back and forth in between here and now into the container. But you know what? That huh. annex wall was like sticking out. We would have oh. never thought about that right there. That's true. It was on level. Nelson hadn't even excavated yet. That's true. Yeah. This was yeah. a lot more in the way back then. Little by little. That also looks like it actually might rain. Hopefully not. Farmers gotta love this rain. It's the most rain they've gotten in seven years, I've been told. What do you say, babes? Man, a lot of rain right now. I know. And it looks like it's not stopping. <laughs> it got really dark really fast. I know, it was really sunny. Kitty's in the box. Good, get out of the way, he's backing up. Ooh. We just returned with all the brick and cement to make the interior walls. Oh my gosh. Well, there's indoor projects and outdoor projects for all kinds of weather. Yep, those are the bricks for a future bedroom and bathroom. Exciting times. I never want to forget these days. These days when we lived in the camper and the future of our lives and living situation was all still up in the unknown. I think it's just so exciting to see the dream come true. <laughs> yeah, well said. Okay, so the time lapse up, then we can watch them unload. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Items coming out one direction, materials going in the other. Just like all of our items over here that we've hauled out onto our terrace, they're covering up the things in their truck too. We got a bunch of wood there. We got a bunch of other miscellaneous things here. We got our mulcher. Everything's covered up out here. Are you covered up? I'm covered up. <laughs> Let's go 
many different crews and workers and friends showing up to our property on any given day. It's really important for us to have a security system. And so for that reason and so many more, we are extremely grateful for the sponsor of today's episode, Aria Link, a leading company in the security cameras and tech industry providing eco-friendly monitoring solutions, whether it's for your home or for off-grid living, Aria Link has a security solution for you. And in this box, we have the Ultra Clear Innovative Duo 3. As you can see, this has two 4K lenses. Look at that. And utilizing an advanced dual image stitching algorithm, you get a 180 degree panoramic view, which means that you can see what is happening completely, like without interruption, no blind spots with flexible mounting and built to endure extreme weather. This incredible little device also has motion tracking capabilities that follow the motion of whether it's a vehicle, a person, an animal in one image, and it sends it to you via email in real time. It also has incredible night vision in color and the setup is so extremely easy all that it requires is one ethernet cable we have needed this this is long overdue isn't that right looks like wally doesn't it <laughs> using our ario link app we're gonna add a camera see the qr code on the back here we're gonna scan it adding device we already have an older ario link up there right, put a password in oh <laughs> I love how easy it is to manage multiple cameras here on the app. And look, we can see live what we're looking at in the camera. Oh. Look at how wide that is. That's us guys. I know. <laughs> we could start to vlog with <laughs> our Duo 3. <laughs> we'll be able to use our ARIO link to spy on the kitties too. Drew just mounted the Duo 3 on top of our camper van here and I am just so stoked about the motion tracking technology and that both of the lenses in this camera have smart technology that allow them to distinguish between people, animals, or vehicles so that we know what is happening at our home whether we are here or we're away. We are able to monitor everything. So if somebody is detected on this camera, we through the app are able to like talk to them from wherever we are. And right now until March 25th, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this video, the day that it goes live, they are having their spring sale. Plus using our code, using Mr. Our and Mrs. Adventure, you'll receive 5% off your order. Click our link in the description below. The cats are like, what is going on? Dinner will be served in approximately 15 minutes, kitties. <laughs> so I just came down here to take a little bit of a look and you can see things are getting prepped. They got the bricks in here, the cement bags they'll be using, they got the transoms they're gonna use for the wall that will be in this area. And then in the second bedroom, look at all the bricks to make this entire wall. It'll feel nice to have divided out bedrooms and of course a bathroom over here. I've never seen this place so open. Well, they're walking around making measurements. It's just cool to observe what's about to take place in here. Even this door, we've never had a good look at. They took all the wood that was covering this whole section of the room, took it out. That's like a four foot door height. They gotta cut that way open. That's one of the requirements from the Camara making this a legal house was changing the pillars, changing the joint up there, putting in legalized skylights and opening up that big door. Things are about to get crazy in here. So right now they're making the measurements for where this wall will go to divide out the bedroom. And the important question they just asked me was the wall with the blocks, how do we want them to sit? Do we want to sit them where they're even and flush with the inside of this beam on the inside of the bedroom or on this exterior part? So they're going to go on the exterior. This is just a guide clamped onto the wall. That way they'll be able to sit them flush in this exact area. Smart move. And right here, they're using a laser line going right across the floor to measure out where that wall will go. Pretty cool to watch. And there it is, the beginning of the wall. <laughs> Rede <Right> Babando. <laughs> Come 
Muito bom, mano. Muito bom, muito bom. He's raising it up now to the second level. Who knew? I had no idea this would happen today. <gasps> That's amazing. Hey, back there. No. We're gone for a short bit. We're like chiseling open the door we need made. I mean. I know, we gotta go. Come on. They're not building the entire wall in one day. Although some say they might be able to. <laughs> they could, if they really wanted to. But their stomachs probably want some dinner. He joked he'd be back at six in the morning. Yeah, they're done at six in the evening, they'll be back at six in the morning. But no, they'll be back at eight in the morning. Yeah. Thank goodness. Really enough. Because Drew and I really, really, just want to be living inside of that house especially when it comes to the heat hot summer time you know it's really great to have a team doing this plus for the legal habitation license we have to have a like certified builder overseeing all of this and i'm so grateful because they give drew and i like peace of mind because we trust their work 
I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> Woo. Oh, and look at the kitties. <laughs> They're all waiting for us. It's the trio. They're the best. We love you. We love you. If anyone's new to our channel, this is Tom, Baby, and Minu, the mother on the bottom. She's about four. The top two are about two years old each. We're a happy family. Kitty. Kitty wants a snack. You want a snack? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, oh, and he melts. There he goes. Are you so happy? I trained her to jump into my lap with treats. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Look at you. <gasps> A little wonder kitty herself. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? right now the birds are chirping the boys just arrived they just told me they're gonna be doing a big removal project and that entails cutting out the lower area right in front of what we call the theater room where it's got a ton of cement for a higher area on the floor they're gonna cut it flat and flush with the rest of the room And then the original staircase that was leading next to that bathroom area Brittany and I have been discussing for a long time, they're gonna rip all of that cement out today. That's gonna take a ton of jackhammering, a ton of wheelbarrows, a ton of man hours, and they're gonna get it all removed for us so we can start making what we want and make it happen. A lot of decisions are happening. This is a big step forward. So the idea here is to take all the broken gravel out of there and put it where the base of our patio will be. Pretty soon this entire area will be covered with piles like that. They got to really get jackhammering through that, break the ties between kind of the metal webbing and the thick rebar in there. That's some hard work to cut out. I can now appreciate the whole process of creating it and then taking it out. Brought some sticky notes back from the States. <laughs> they come in handy. I'm gonna attempt to write Diakuyu in Ukrainian on here. It looks more like shapes than letters. Whoa backwards R in there, guys. You've definitely never written that before. I'm getting there. But some fresh pastel de natas for our crew that grew today. Our crew that grew. Our crew that grew. <laughs> and now they'll grow even more. I'll be the delivery boy. Okay. Yeah, Brittany, me and Mary Thank you, thank you. Obrigado. 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 Wow. Look at this in here. Yeah. That is a lot of material they hauled out. Look at it all just built up. This was a good spot to put it. We'll probably get the whacker machine in the future again. And I'll pack all this in before we actually build a nice patio here in the future. I see they have this open. This is quite wild to walk through. That's a first. I love the feeling now being able to enter through and be up here and look at the whole room. Let's take a look upstairs and see what progress they've made. Oh. They're on the back side of this triangle wall right now, insulating the upper section of this bedroom. It's a south facing wall, so it gets baked with sun. So it's really important that they insulate the interior side of the bricks and double layer it. Fish. See the nice new lentil? It's gonna match this one and that one. 
We were so lucky and grateful that the sellers of the mill had extra of these beautiful kashtanya lentils. That way, all of the doorways in the house will match and have them. And after making sure that the back side of the first layer of bricks was thoroughly covered by insulation, they started layering the second layer of bricks, which as you can see, they're almost done with here. This will make a huge difference in the summer. leveling out this area of the floor to be the same as the rest of the living room slash dining room and kitchen area, it makes for a larger, more usable space. Wow. Crunchy Petra. See him, see him. Grande Petrol. Yeah. 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 I can hardly wait to show you guys. I snuck in here for just a moment right after the guys left to see what it looked like. And then I was like, oh no, I can't. I can't experience this without you because what they did in a day is just, it nearly blew my socks off. Hang on, let's get some lights on for our audience. There we go. Okay. Are you ready? Wait, but did you? <gasps> oh, shoot. Let me start over. <laughs> no. Can I, should I just work with it? Yeah, work with it. They used the jackhammer and made us this lovely main entrance that is just like regal. Look at how big this is. You know what's crazy is this was a pretty dangerous job being underneath these stones falling as he was chiseling away. I mean, you were filming it. Yeah, I know. That's but true. they didn't have actual the door out at that time. So this is the first time you've ever been able to actually walk through it. And this was one of the main things that the camera required that we fixed. And now we get to look in. The thing that made me feel like so out of this world was just the fact that up here now that there are walls it actually feels like a house house it feels like there's these really cozy little nooks that we get to choose between it's really cool this is insane i mean look at these overhead beams that's one of my favorite features that they added in because they're on all the frames the turret here the lentils are beautiful and I love that this wall is in a little bit so that our bookcase can slide. Wait, you're revealing? Whoa, guys, she just revealed our door idea. No, we showed them. We showed them earlier. Okay. <laughs> but I'm still excited about it. We had to really get the measurements honed in on that. But it makes it just feel a lot more dynamic of a landing when you come up from the stairs, you know? It's not just like wall, wall, wall. It's like, whoa, circle, straight, book, but with more space. And I, think I, I think we're going to leave this door open a lot because we didn't really want to close in general. So by having the bookcase, it'll just feel like it's a big normal opening, like another entrance into a cool room. I actually think we might want this as our bedroom, especially if it goes out to the back patio and it has the old stones, which we want to frame here. This has to be our bedroom. It's really giving you a different feel having it open without stuff all over and seeing the grandness of the new walls in here. Whoa. That's next project, taking out this staircase. It's like the stairs to nowhere. They chiseled out this whole floor and put all of the materials over there. That was two guys in one day. Yeah. This whole section. That was a lot of material wow. in here. <laughs> wow, look at that. 
Yeah, you can see the steel framework underneath the big support pillar here. Yep, and those stairs are next. We're coming for you, or <laughs> the team is coming for you at least. Look out. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It's gonna be the base to our future backyard grilling patio. We just have to get the, um, the get the whacker back Get here. the whacker back, the compactador. Wow, what an episode, what? An episode. Guys, we love showing you the transformation of our magic mill. It's a complete joy to be able to share it on YouTube right here with you. And this is day one of the truest transformation of the interior of our home that we will eventually one day live in. And for many happy. of you, you've watched us transform outside the house for so long, and here we are. It's coming and happening now. Well, not right now, but soon. Not this moment but like nice. these days these weeks so you guys are awesome and we'll see you next sunday for our next episode we love you bye, bye. enjoy the creek sounds